hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to create a database for our flutter cloth sap so for that purpose uh, open up your favorite browser and simply go to the localhost php my admin localhost slash php my admin now you can see it says this site cannot be reached so it simply means that we have to open up the xamp server first of all and start the apache and my SQL okay when you start this then simply refresh this page okay and you will see this so it will redirect you to PHP my admin dashboard which you can see this so now here uh, you will see this uh, databases okay just click on this databases and let's create our database that is for our project which is cloth sap so let's give it name the same name that is clothes underscore app okay that is the database for our clothes app so once you write the database name here okay then simply click on create remember do not give extra space okay instead of space you can use underscore so clothes underscore app is our database name or if you want you can write here that is clothes app underscore db or something okay it is totally up to you whatever name you want to give to your database i will give to it a simple and basic name which is clothes underscore app once you write here your database name i will suggest to go with the same name otherwise later i mean maybe you will get confused i will use this name and you will have different name so maybe you will get confused that's why i am suggesting to go with the same name which is clothes underscore app for our database so once you write the name here then simply click on this create button so our database has been created which you can see here clothes underscore app make sure to click on the database name which is clothes sap okay and you will see this now for now we will basically create the first table uh, which will be by the name users and in the users table we will save all the user records okay who will sign up for the first time okay let's say john is the user peter is the user Ali is the user and Ruby is the user so on okay there can be millions of users so all these records we will save inside our users table this is just for now as you know we are developing this app step by step later on of course in this course we will create many other tables for example for saving the all the admins uh, records we will create admin table and then for saving uh, all the orders records we will create a table by the name orders and uh, for example uh, when the admin upload start uploading new items then all the items uh, records that is clothes items all items records we will uh, save to another new table which will be by the name uh, let's say items table clothes items table and so on okay this is just to tell you guys that what we will do so anyways for now as you know now we need a table in order to implement the sign up and sign in feature that is to authenticate the users so in here in the table name I will write here users users underscore table so users table is our first table okay do not give any extra space instead of space you can use this underscore okay so this is our users underscore table users table and then comes the number of columns so the number of columns for our first table will be four now what are these columns uh, let's first create it and then I will explain to you guys so click on make sure that you write here four. okay we need four columns in our users table so let's click on create so now you will see this uh, that is four columns okay one two three four now the first column will be for the uh, ID of e that is whenever a new user register for the first time then automatically a unique ID will be assigned to that user so let's say uh, we can give to this name as user underscore ID this is our first column now the type for this will be integer and uh, as I told you whenever uh, the new user register for the first time then automatically 
a new uh, you can say a unique ID will be assigned to each and every user for example John will have their own uh, user ID and Peter will have their own user ID Ruby will have their own user ID each and every user will have their own unique ID by which we can recognize each and every user okay so in front of this user ID column you will see this AI which simply means auto increment okay so check this so it will perform this feature that is whenever a new user is created it will automatically uh, assign to it a unique ID okay so make sure to check this primary okay and then the next column is the name or you can simply say user name user underscore name then comes the user email so we will say user email which is the third column and then the fourth column will be user underscore password now the username type will be varchar various characters and the length for this will be 100 and the user email it will also be varchar and the length of this will be 100 and for the user password the type will be text Warchar means that is it can have various characters like for example email has uh, dot underscore at the rate and so on okay user for example let's say peter dot 55 at the rate yahoo dot com or you can say at the rate gmail dot com so on okay various character so make sure to uh, follow the exact same steps so we have our four columns which you can see here the first column is user underscore id the type for which is integer and it is auto increment primary okay which simply means that whenever a new user register or sign up for the first time then a unique user ID will be assigned to that user to each and every user a unique ID will be assigned okay using their ID user ID we can recognize each and every user since every user will have their own ID though and the second column is uh, username type is varchar length for which is 100 the third column is user email varchar 100 and user password text which is our fourth column so we have this fourth column now let's just click on save in order to create our this uh, table or you can say save over this table which is created successfully or you can say saved successfully to our uh, database which is cloth sap so inside the cloth sap database we have our first user table okay if you click here users table then you can see that if you click here structure then you will see the structure of it these are the columns these are the types of these columns now you already I hope now you understand this that is uh, when we take input on the sign up page so we will have three inputs that is the username the name of the user email of the user and password of the user and we will uh, save that to this table which is users table whenever the user click on the sign up button so alongside with this three information a unique ID will be assigned to that user who is going to register for the first time so this is how I mean we create a table inside our database in the MySQL or you can say that inside the SQL database 